In our previous lesson, we have seen how important is definite integration in finding the area of a cycle. Today, we are going to see how we can find the area on the next a curve. Uh, suppose we have curves like this. To find the area under this curve, we are going to take the integral from A to B of this function f of x with respect to x. And likewise, to get this area, we are going to take the integral from C to D of the function g of x with respect to x. But there is something you need to observe here. The area here will appear positive, but here, since the curve is under the x plane, it is going to appear negative. So we don't have a negative area, therefore we have to take the absolute value of the value we got. And suppose we want to find the total area of these two curves. We are going to find the area of this and this, and later on we add them together. But we have to take the absolute value of this because we may end up getting zero. So another one you should know is this. Suppose we have a graph like this and another graph like this. And maybe this point is A, while this point is B. And we are asked to find the area here between the two curves. Let's assume this curve is f of x, while this curve is g of x. So the area is going to be the integral from A to B of f of x minus g of x with respect to x. This is how we are going to find the area here. Because by doing so, it's like you are finding the total area from this curve up to the x plane. And g of x from here to here. Then you subtract this area to get the remaining area. And uh, sometimes the boundaries may seem to be from the y-axis. Suppose we have a graph like this. Well, this is B. This is A. And we need to find area here. We are going to say the integral of the function f of y this time around with respect to y from a to b. If there are two, if we are looking for area here, we are going to say the total area from this point to our y plane minus the area from this point to our plane will give us the remaining area here. So now let us look onto the first problem. We are asked to find the total area underneath this curve, but we are not given the curve, so we have to make a kind of sketch. So one thing we should find is the x-intercept by setting, uh, by finding the zeros of this equation. So we have something like this, x squared minus x minus six equal to zero. By factorization, we have x minus three and x plus two. These factors will give us this quadratic function. If you set these factors to be zero, first one will, will have x equal to three and the second one will have x equal to negative two. So now let us make a rough sketch of this. Since the leading coefficient is positive, our parabola is going to be open up. So one, two, negative two, one, two, three, this is three. So it is going to be like this. So area here is what we are looking for. So to find this area, we are going to take the integral from negative two to positive three of the function x squared minus x minus six with respect to x. So if you integrate this function, you are going to get x to the power of three over three minus x to the power of two over two minus six x. And our boundaries are from negative two to positive three. So now let us evaluate these boundaries. For x equal to negative three, we have three to the power of three over three minus three to the power of two over two minus six times three. Then you subtract the lower bound, which is negative two. So we have negative two 
power 3 over 3 minus negative 2 squared over 2 minus 6 times negative 2. If you simplify this, you are going to get negative 27 over 2 minus, if you are also simplify this, you are going to get 22 over 3. And this will give us negative 1, 2, 5 over 6. But I told you, we don't have a negative area, so we have to take absolute value of this. So from here, we have to take absolute value. Uh, this will be 1, 2, 5 over 6 unit square because we are talking about area. So now let us look on to the second one. So in this problem, we are asked to find the area of this shaded region. So to find the area of this shaded region, first of all, we need to find the area of this quadrilateral. Secondly, we find the area under this curve. Then we subtract the area under the curve from the area of uh, the quadrilateral. So first of all, we need, to we need to know these two points by finding the zeros of this equation. 3x minus x squared equals to zero. We can have x from both terms. If you set each one of them to be zero, x will be equal to zero and x will be equal to um, positive 3. So it means that this point is 3 while this point is 0. So it means that the quadrilateral is a square. So the area of a square will be uh, 3 times 3 which is equal to 9 unit square. So now to find the area underneath this curve, we are going to take the integral area uh, under the curve, we are going to take the integral from 0 to 3 of this function 3x minus x squared with respect to x. If we integrate this term, we are going to get 3 over 2x squared. So from here, 3 over 2x squared minus 1 over 3x power 3 our boundaries from 0 to 3. We are only going to substitute for the upper bound because the lower bound is going to set the whole terms to be equal to 0. So we have 3 over 2, 3 squared minus 1 over 3, uh, 3 power 3. And if you simplify this, you are going to obtain 9 over 2 um, unit squared. Uh, therefore, area of shaded part will be equal to area of squared minus area under the curve and this will be equal to uh, 9 minus 9 over 2 and this will be equal to 9 over 2 unit square so the area here is 9 over 2 unit squared now let us look on to the last problem in this question, we want to find these two areas under this uh, curve. Let me call this area as A and this B. Remember, this area is going to be negative, but we don't have a negative area. Therefore, we have to take the absolute value. So first of all, we want to find the zeros of this equation. Let us factorize it first. We have x in common between the terms. Uh, if we factorize this quadratic function, we are going to get x minus 5, x minus 2 because minus 5 times minus 2 is positive 10, minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7. So if we set each of these to be 0, x now will be 0, x will be positive 5 and x positive 2. Therefore, this point is 5. This is 2, while this one is 0. Now we want to find the area of this A first. So area of this first A will now be equal to the integral from 0 to 2, this one, of this function x cubed minus 7x squared plus 10x with respect to x. If you integrate this sum, you're going to obtain x power 4. 
over 4 minus 7x power 3 over 3 plus 10x squared over 2 but it will make this to be 5 our boundaries from 0 to 2 we are going to substitute for x equal to 2 but we are not going to substitute for 0 because it is going to set the terms to be equal to 0 so this will be 2 power 4 over 4 minus 7 2 power 3 over 3 plus 5 2 power 2 if you simplify this you are going to get 16 over 3 unit square because we are dealing with area so we, we have now found this area now let us go ahead and find the area of this b it is going to be the integral from this time around 2 to 5 of the function x cubed minus 7x squared plus 10x with respect to x the integration remains the same this is what we obtain and this will be equal to x power 4 over 4 minus 7x power 3 over 3 plus 5 x squared the boundaries are now 2 to 5 now for the upper bound we are going to set x to be equal to 5 so this is going to be 5 to the power of 4 over 4 minus 7 5 power 3 over 3 plus 5 5 squared minus the lower bound which is 2 power 4 over 4 minus 7 2 power 3 over 3 plus 5 2 power 2 if you simplify this you are going to obtain minus 1 2 5 over 12 and if you simplify this you are going to get 16 over 3 this will be this will be negative 63 over 4 but remember we are talking about area so we have to take the absolute value this will be equal to 63 over 4 unit square but the question says we should find the total area here so we have to add this and this together so total area now is going to be total area is now going to be 16 over 3 plus 63 over 4 this all together equal to 253 over 12 unit square and it is approximately equal to 21.083 unit square so this is the total area of these two cups thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i upload new content